ride. I got my camera in time because Shishi has been off eating and drinking. We're doing whatever she does best. Now she's back just standing on the dock. Are you going to get back up there? Hmm? Come on. Go ahead. Finally caught her returning. There she is, waving her little tail, getting settled in on her eggs. Every now and then she'll take off, and I never have my camera ready. That time, I caught her returning. I was over by the garden transplanting my raspberries, and she's settling back in there. That a girl, where you been? She's gonna maybe turn them eggs with her beak. Gonna settle down for right now. She don't like to do too much housekeeping when I'm around. There she goes. Mm -hmm. She kind of. Okay, I'll leave. You don't have to fluff up and sit there and wait for me to get out of here. But she's uh, trying to find the exact spot to get set. You just came back to hear the band playing down at the cove, didn't you? But I finally caught her returning, and I've been meaning to do that. She finally came back. There she is. She keeps turning and uh, moving everything and settling her way in, kind of pushing the... I think when she leaves, she takes her beak and covers the eggs up. Yes, because now I can see them over on the side. When she leaves, she covers them up with that pile of feathers there, and then when she comes back, she slowly goes in a circle as she's doing now and pushes them all back out of the way and gets her body back down on the eggs so but I caught you coming back you thought you could sneak off on me but I finally got you there you go she she said to the camera well anyway that was perfect timing I ran in the house quick and came back out of the houseboat and just time to get her to on film flying up off the dock and settling back down on the front of our front of our houseboat here all right that's good enough. I was actually over here checking out my garden, which is doing fantastic. Wow, look at these. Look at these cucumbers. Look at these cucumbers just going berserk. And of course the the uh, tomato plants are just bushing out big time. Most of these are determined. I think I got a, a couple of of uh, indeterminants which like me I was a dummy for a long time if you don't know what that means determinants will only grow up to like four or five feet high and then they stop and then they bush out and and if you've ever planted a tomato plant that went clear up the side of your house almost to your rain gutter that's an indeterminate it has no determination to stop where it's supposed to it just keeps right on going so but uh, the garden's doing good and what I did is I had a couple of raspberries and three of them were just nice and big and plumped and somebody snuck on my deck and picked one so I picked the other two and put them in the refrigerator for Sheila and I got these new 30 gallon girl bags out here on the front deck in between mama's uh, roses which finally went crazy looky there didn't she do good look at her roses wow we finally finally bloomed out nice and uh, I don't know a lot about roses. I know she said something about knockoff or double knockoff or whatever they're called. And uh, they're blooming out just beautiful. And there's still half of them that haven't even bloomed yet. So it's going to be a real beautiful bunch of roses. But the garden's doing great. The uh, My blueberries, these four blueberry bushes are just growing and blooming like crazy. But i got to put some more dirt in here to get it up to the top. I just got the plant kind of sitting in there right now. This side over here. I already got one third bag of dirt. One thing I did is I picked up some dirt at the Home Depot. It said like 32 quarts on the side. Big bag of dirt. And then I realized there's four quarts in a gallon. And if this is a 30 gallon, that means there's 120 quarts of dirt to go in there. But it, uh, three bags is kind of getting up close. But almost four it would take to level it to the top. So but anyway, that's the update. And there's Shishi down on the other end of the houseboat. And uh, it's just a gorgeous day out here on the lake. And uh, 
I finally caught her little butt getting back in bed. So I'm um, sending this up to my brother Larry Hall up in Brainerd, Minnesota. If you type Larry Hall anywhere on YouTube in the search bar, it'll say run rain gutter grow system after it. Tap on that. That'll take you to all his great how to grow. And if you want to get a garden like this, I can't tell you how to do it exactly, but I did it how all his directions say, and it's going fantastic. Signing off from me and Shishi and the garden here in Nashville, Tennessee to my brother Larry and Brainerd. Bye-bye.